Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. It's very early this morning and the first thing we want to do is just head out for the day and do some looting. Um, we are going to come back and work on the water situation. I'm not quite sure yet exactly how to set this thing up, but um, hopefully we can get it figured out for the day, hopefully, and there's a pearl down here that I want to grab. I didn't really intend to do that this morning. I don't have a pickaxe with me, but I think this axe will be okay for pearls. Um, seems to be okay. We do need to try to get some animal kills in today. We need some fat for biofuel because we are running pretty low on that stuff. And we do need to keep the generators running today as well. And there's some scrap. And try to just grab everything that we can. I would like to get started building again. I want to get this season completed as far as, you know, getting all the base completed. Things like that. So I really want to get this done so that we can move on to a, another season of this. We definitely won't take on such a large build next season unless we just have an abundance of resources to mess around with. Um, there's rogues just up here. I did see them overnight. As you can see them, they're just hanging out. Their campfire is right at the end of my arrow, right between those trees. Uh, we're try we're gonna try not to mess with those guys. Hopefully we won't just stumble in on top of them and disturb them and cause them to want to shoot at us and all that mess. Uh, definitely not interested in that this morning. So first things first, we are just gonna look for some crates today. We might head over just into the the edge of the valley, not necessarily down in the valley. Um, there's usually some good crates along the top of that little hillside. And hopefully we can find some loot in that direction. I am looking for nails, of course, as always. I can make planks on my own, but finding them isn't horrible. Uh, we might head over and raid one of the buildings or one of the bases at some point, hopefully. See if we can find some great loot inside of those. I do not like the way this blurs out back here. I know it's supposed to be some type of quality change or whatever quality of life change or something maybe I don't even know what the purpose of that is but I don't like it I like being able to see what's coming up behind me when I'm looting a crate maybe that's the point maybe you're not supposed to be able to see that as good and cause a little bit of panic when you're looting a crate so there's that um, not too fond of that but it is what it is there's not much I can do about it um, there is a black bear over there. And again, there's usually some pretty nice crates just here. I'm going to try to get this tree if possible. That's not a black bear. That is a grizzly bear. If he'll let me, I'll get this tree. If he won't, um, I'll just abandon it. Yes. I hear you. There's a rabbit here. Run, rabbit, run. Definitely don't want to try to kill any of the rabbits. There's no point in it. We don't really get anything from them, but I don't want to leave any crates behind. Finding the arrow in the crate is nice. So that means we don't have to craft it, which means we do save some nails doing that. Um, we don't have to worry about the nail usage on crafting arrows. Um, there appears to be a crate. Nope, that's plant fiber. That's a bear. Okay, I'm not seeing any crates over here right now. Maybe we'll just chop some wood. Wood is always nice and we do need it. We need it pretty desperately so that we are able to do some building. We don't have a ton of it at the base and I would like to continue grabbing some wood. And I've been told several times throughout this season that if you stop and chop some wood it allows the crates to spawn in near you. And that's a pretty good plan. I'm okay with crates spawning in near me. As long as they don't spawn in near the enemies, that's okay as well. And there must be something to it because every time that that happens to me that I actually remember to stop and chop the, the trees, there's always a crate nearby. Uh, nails and protein bar and a bandage. Not a bad crate at all. I'm just going to head up on top of this little hillside here. 
Have a little look, see. See what we can see. There's a rabbit. Again, no point in killing those guys. I mean, we can put them in the animal housing, but it's not that big of a deal right now to have those. Let's just have a little look-see over here. I don't see anything really over here. There's a wolf down there. I'm not interested in the wolf at all. Um, however, I would like to have his meat. Actually, just his fat. We do need to cook some meat. We are getting pretty low on it as well. Come on. Just kill him. Get it out of the way. Butcher him. Hopefully he has a nice amount of fat. Two pieces is better than one. Very, very lovely. I did see a ammo crate down here. Wanted to grab that just quickly. We are not going to spend most of the day out today because I don't really want to be away from the base for that long because we simply just don't have the time to be out doing this, but it is necessary. Looting is an absolute must if you're going to survive in this game for any length of time. You're going to have to loot. I mean, if you miss one day looting, it feels like you've used all the resources in your base. Or in my case, it does anyway, because we do do a lot of work um, building, and we need tons and tons of nails for all of that. So I have been playing a little bit of the brand new alpha of Seven Days to Die. There's two episodes out on the channel already, and hopefully you guys have given that a try. It is a zombie game, and I know zombie games are not for everyone, but if it is your thing, you may want to check it out. It is the game that got me started with computer gaming. Um, it's the game that actually got me started gaming in the first place. I mean, I didn't really play any type of game before that. And that was that is and still remains my favorite type of survival game. It's, it's the best survival game, in my opinion, that there is. There's just so many ways to play that game. It's so versatile. Um, you can play with the zombies on, you can play with them um, turned down so that they're not as strong. There's just, you can turn the looting amount up. There's just so many ways you can do that. You can restrict yourself to certain things, um, you know, make a little mini game out of it. Like, you know, don't leave this town or try to survive in this building for as long as possible. I mean, there's just so many ways to play that game. And there are several buildings that you can actually make a go at survival in there. I am just going to kill this wolf. We do need the fat again. Biofuel is becoming extremely important. Wolf Hunter Novice. We received an achievement. Ooh, that's a lot of fat. You're the best one so far. Okay, so this is sort of a brand new area. Let's just chop a few trees if possible. Let's just do that. Try to get some crates to spawn in. That would be lovely. Um, just a couple of trees. We are doing pretty well with loot. I mean, we haven't been out for very long. It doesn't seem that way anyway. Maybe we have been. I'm not sure of that yet. But, um, yeah, we're just going to head back toward the base. We're not going exactly straight home. But we do want to stop and you know, chop a few trees and loot our way back toward the base so that we can hopefully get one of the plant beds um, so that it will automatically water. I assume that's how it works. I'm not sure on that either. I don't see any crates. There is some scrap just here and a plant fiber just there. Crate would be nice, guys. A crate would be nice. Since we did all that wood chopping, Oopsie, sorry about that. Did not mean to do that. My finger slipped on the mouse. Okay, no crate spawning in this time. That's not cool at all. Okay. That blueberry's nice. Very much enjoy getting the uh, fruits and vegetables from the you know from the location from the area so that we don't have to grow as many 
We do have a fridge full at the moment. Let's just get over this way. What are you? A potato? That's lovely. We can make Molotovs and things like that that we need with those. Not bad loot. I know we are very, very close to those rogues. They're just over the hill. That's okay. We'll get over here and wash our hands. This is the area that the Bravo base used to be in. So we are familiar with that. Let's just grab this plant fiber. And those guys are just over here. I mean, they could literally be anywhere. Because they do come down and go fishing and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. There's a bear right there. Not interested in the bear. It might be interested in me. But I'm not so much interested in it. But let's just get inside the base and put the sluice away. Try to get this plant bed so that it's watering itself automatically or whatever it needs to do. Because I'm not sure about that. And um, yeah, maybe we'll... So I did remove a piece of the wall. It is still there, guys. As you can see, it's like right here. It is still around. It's not gone forever. But it's definitely not there in the wall like it needs to be. Okay, let's put these guys in here. You go down here. Come on. Pearls go downstairs. Medicinal plant kind of goes over here. Um, you can craft from your crates, I think, now. Which I think is nice. Well, we have a little bit of wood. We do have some plant fiber. We have a plank or two. I don't want to use those. Since we have plenty of plant fiber, we'll just go ahead and do that. Fill that up. We'll add the fat. We have some biofuel in here currently, which is nice. Uh, we'll leave that in here because we are using that to make like first aid stuff. Let's do that. You... You go in there. Let's get down here and do all of this lovely stuff. 17 nails. Not great, but not horrible. Cloth in there. The worm. We've got a ton of cloth, guys. We are not lacking cloth at all. We really, really don't have to worry about gathering so much of that. Okay, there's that. Now we have the biofuel in here. We're just going to drop it in this crate for now. The base should be doing pretty well on power at this point because we don't really have anything running. Okay, yes, 2100, almost 2200 power and uh, 100 mass. Might as well be anyway. So we have this thing, it's connected to the side of the base. We're going to assume that's what it's connected to, guys, because we did kind of have to work on that a bit. I do have some pipes in here, I think. And I also have a sprinkler system in place so that we can go ahead and get that going on our very first plant bed just here. Let's just go ahead and get that done. and. I don't really know how to get the water over here so it has to go in the front okay so we do have a couple of pipes here I think we have four nope 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 like that uh, water pipe we need to make a couple of these so let's grab some scrap and some adhesive come on we only have two adhesive couple of scrap. We have plenty of scrap. Let's just craft one of you. And we need to make some more adhesive. I don't remember exactly how to do that. But it's four biofuel, three of these guys. One, two, three. 
four biofuel. One, two, three, four. Let's get back upstairs and we will get some ash. Can we just craft it like that without having to take that? We can. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Really, really enjoy that. Okay, and now we have that adhesive crafting. We can craft another set of water pipes, but I'm not sure what we need. So let's just take this one. I'm sure we're going to need these pipes, guys. So number six. Number six. This will go here to here. I don't like that clipping through like that. That is horrible. And that is the inlet. I think this is the inlet. Water inflow connector. Pipes are currently connected. The pipes are connected to a water source. And this is the one that lets the water flow down to the plant bed. So I'm probably going to have to craft a couple more of these guys. Um, can I get two more? No. We are very low on mass. Now we're completely out of adhesive. We're okay. Let's just eat one of these because we are getting hungry. And let's eat a couple of you. Oh dear, I wasted that. Darn it. I wanted to eat the protein bar, so we're going to have to do some cooking later. There's that. Okay, um, let's just make sure that we have that down here where it belongs. And this one as well. I love that they now stack. I think that's one of the better features in the game. Let's do that. How far down here can we go with this? Not all of the way, that is for sure. Can I not jump on here? And Seriously, we're that close. So can we move the plant bed without losing the crops inside? Because we can move that just a tiny bit closer. Let's just move it like right here for now. And then we're going to move it back. So end. And we don't want it like really, really close to us. So we're going to rotate it. I think that's the proper direction. Very much hope so anyway. Okay, let's just do that maybe. see now if we can connect these so number six down here that's horrible guys that look just looks awful not looking good at all I don't like it I do not like the fact that you can see all of these pipes just running everywhere I really wish there was a way to hide them because that absolutely takes from the look of this base particularly. I don't know about other bases. I'm sure there are others that could hide that very well in their base. Their base is set up for this differently. So what does this do now? Doesn't say anything about watering, does it? Sprinkler automation. Um, turn on. That is so cute, guys. I really like that. We have plants being watered. That looks that looks great. The pipes, not so much. But I really like that. I think that looks great. Okay, so are they completely watered or are they just out of water at this point? Um, okay, that didn't help at all. So what's the point of that 
The plant bed is not currently connected to the water tank outflow or the water tank is out of water. Well, probably should turn that on then. Mm, faucet, fill can, water canteens, inflow pump, turn that on. Okay, so it just pumps. And then here, we can see that it is watering the plant bed. It's just taking a lot of water, which also means we're gonna need tons and tons and tons more power for this. I would really like to at least get a couple of these guys done. Um, probably wouldn't use this particular thing all of the time. Uh, maybe just on like a plant bed of tomatoes or something. Something that we really want to grow pretty quickly so that we can have vegetables going at all times. Anyway guys, I really do enjoy that. So today has been pretty productive. The sun is starting to set. Uh, it's been pretty productive. We have gotten a couple of things done today. We need to do some cooking as well in a bit. Let's see, chutney, 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 chutney. Boil chutney. We need two onions, carrots, medicinal plant, water, and jars. Onions, carrots, medicinal plant, and can we now make a couple jars of this? We need another jar of water, and then we'll have it completed. Okay, let's do that. Get this chutney completed craft and now that we have that done we can just put everything back where it belongs here these onions and carrots belong down here and then we'll let that do its thing and then we will definitely okay so that's so after it's completely watered what happens the pump just continues to do its thing and does it just store water here? Is that what this meter is? How much stored water we have? Um, so we really just need to let it run so that it can fill up our water canteens and it will be full at some point. Definitely gonna have to have more power in this base. There's just no way around it. We are definitely gonna have to figure it out. Get it together, get power going. I would like to get at least another one of these going because those are pretty, um, they're useful as well. Um, I really didn't think it would be, but it is pretty useful. It would also be nice, like I mentioned, if we didn't have as many plant beds and if they were, if we were able to um, have more power and we could hide the pipes. Really don't like the piping. It's ugly, it doesn't look good. I'm really glad that Beach Bum mentioned that I should move it closer to the plant bed so we didn't have to have as many pipes. Very, very glad that she did that because if not, we would have had pipes going all along the floor inside the base and I really wouldn't have liked that at all. I ended up losing the pipe because I didn't know how to disconnect it or if you could disconnect it at all. I didn't know how to do that. So, with that being said, what do we need to do to craft one more of these upgrades? We still need another piece of pipe and we need a um, alloy sheet. We do need masks. We're gonna have to work on that, guys. So anyway, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.